You being here ruins the atmosphere of the venue. Could you please leave? He sneered, though technically my brother-in-law's father. I traveled all this way because I wanted to celebrate my sister's marriage. But apparently, I was an uninvited guest to the groom's family. What's the matter? Hurry up and leave. Just having a poor person here ruins the wedding. Understood. I'll take my leave. I called my husband. What's going on? Why are you here? I was told to leave, so I did. I was honest. There was nothing else to do. What does this mean? He looked at the groom's family with a stern gaze. The groom's family looked back without any remorse. My name is Lisa. I'm 32 years old, living with my husband, who's 11 years older than me. The only family I have left is my husband and my younger sister, who is 10 years younger. Our father left when I was 10, leaving us in a single-parent household. My sister Summer was just born, and my mother must have felt very lonely. Still, she worked tirelessly to raise us. From morning till night, she was always working. I took care of my sister most of the time, but I never once complained until I graduated high school. Unfortunately, years of hard work caught up with my mother, and she passed away. My mother had few relatives, and she wasn't good at socializing. My sister and I were left alone. What will happen to us now, sis? Don't worry, I'll manage somehow. I wasn't sure how, but I knew we had to survive, so I found a job right after high school. I worked as a clerk at a small company. The pay wasn't great, but it was a company that hired high school graduates. It was a small company, so I was given a lot of responsibilities. I couldn't refuse, being young and considered useful. At first, it was simple clerical work, but the task grew more complex over time. However, the boss was a kind person. Lisa, would you like to get a qualification? A qualification? Yes, it's a bit specialized, but we don't have anyone qualified. And you're young, so studying shouldn't be too hard, right? Would this be outside of working hours? Don't worry, we'll cover the exam fees and textbook costs. Please, I'm asking you. Understood. When the boss asked for a favor, he'd always be earnest. His friendly smile made it hard to refuse. Plus, having a qualification could broaden my job prospects. My sister would need more as she went through middle and high school, so it wasn't a bad idea. Don't push yourself too hard, sis. Sometimes my sister would say that, showing concern. Don't worry about me, Summer. When you graduate high school, do what you want. When my sister entered high school, she was seriously considering working right after graduation. But I didn't want her to struggle like I did, so I convinced her to go to college. There was just one problem. My small company's salary made it difficult to save for tuition. I began considering changing jobs. A job change? I'm really grateful to the boss, but the pay is an issue. Yeah, with our pay, it's tough. I expected to be scolded, but the boss was understanding. Since they paid for my qualifications, I thought they might ask me to repay that. So, here's the thing. I know someone's starting a new company. They're looking for someone who can handle clerical work. A new company? I was worried about whether the company would last. Don't worry. This person is very capable and already doing well. This is so good that their expectations for employees are quite high. I don't think I'm that competent. Actually, their business is similar to ours. According to the boss, this person used to work at our company. He transferred to another company and is now starting his own. Is he that impressive? Yes, he's a technical expert with a talent for management, and he's looking for an office worker with a special qualification. I finally understood. Since it was the same industry, the work would be similar. It was an ideal place for a career change, but it would also cause problems. In a small company, if one person leaves, it increases the workload for others. Don't worry about it. Actually, I've been thinking about closing the company soon. What? It's tough to keep up with age, and everyone here is nearing retirement. If I'm going to close, now is the time. So, don't worry about it. I'd been with the company for about five years. The boss had been understanding about my sister and me. He'd always been fair, even letting me take time off when I was sick or injured. The other employees were always kind to me. The moment I realized this, tears started flowing. Oh, don't cry. 
If I make a young girl cry, my wife will scold me. It's better when you smile. And so, I joined Mike's company. Nice to meet you. I'm Mike. Nice to meet you. I'm Lisa. Mike was a 38-year-old man who appeared even more mature. His sharp suit and shiny watch looked expensive. We really needed someone with a special qualification, so you were a great help. Otherwise, we would have had to outsource. Thank you. Since you were recommended, I have no doubts about your abilities. If you'd handle things at the company, you'll do just fine here. Thank you very much. I was nervous, but I think I responded well. And so Mike's company became my new workplace. His company was a startup, aggressively expanding its business. Mike was at the center of it all. It was a startup, but it seemed to be backed by a major company with many big projects. I'm grateful to have you here, Lisa. Not at all. Office work is specialized, so it helps that you have skills. I'm glad I invested in training. I'm really happy to hear that. As time passed, I could see the company growing. Mike appreciated me, and I no longer worried about my sister's tuition or daily expenses. Sis, you seem so lively these days. Do I? Yeah, before, you seemed overwhelmed by work, but now you seem to enjoy it. Really? Maybe there's someone you like? Don't be silly. Go get ready for school. Sure, sure. Four years after joining Mike's company, I was 27 and my sister was about to graduate high school. She was doing well in school, aiming for her preferred university. Barring any health issues, she was expected to pass. Meanwhile, Mike's company was growing, taking on larger projects. Mike was an amazing leader, constantly bringing in new work and building partnerships. The number of employees quickly increased, skipping over many small companies. Even in accounting and support, we hired more people. Before I knew it, I was training older new hires. How about a trip sometime? A trip? But my schedule? I anticipated that, so I made sure to wrap things up early. Thank you, but that seems like a luxury. Leave it to me. Let's relax a bit. Since I was part of the founding team, I was always with Mike. Naturally, our relationship became romantic. Although there was an 11-year age difference, it didn't matter to me. But there was one concern. Could we wait to get married? Why? Is there a problem with marrying me? It was late one night, and only the two of us were left in the office. I decided to share my feelings. It's not that, Mike. You're a wonderful man. I do want to marry you. But I have a younger sister who's much younger than me. I didn't know that. I didn't mention it. Could we wait until she graduates from college? She's only got me as family. Until she's independent, I can't leave her. I thought it was a selfish request. Mike was already in his mid-thirties, thinking seriously about marriage. I was afraid it was too much to ask. Sure, I'll wait until she graduates. What? In return, let's have dinner with your sister. After all, she'll be family. I thought his assertiveness was part of why he was a successful entrepreneur. So the three of us began spending more time together. As Mike's company stabilized, and with my sister about to enter college, we decided to go on a trip. Naturally, the three of us went together. The trip was so fun, we wished it could last forever. But everything has an end. My sister went to college, and Mike and I returned to work. Since the university was within commuting distance, she still lived with me, but I knew we'd see each other less often. Around this time, she announced she wanted to get a part-time job. I figured she wanted some independence. Sure, everyone starts with no experience. I've been learning about business management for Mike, so I'll be fine. I was always the worried type, but my sister was strangely optimistic. Maybe it was our situation that made her so, or perhaps it was her nature. Her optimism had saved me many times. She began college and, as always, surprised me in good ways. Sis, guess what? What's up? I'm getting married after college. Married? Sorry, I got a bit carried away. She continued as if my shock didn't matter. I'm serious about marrying after graduation. Who's the guy? Oh, you don't know him. Or maybe you do. Don't mess with me. I'm serious. 
The summer of her junior year, she made this announcement. I was shocked beyond words, though she often said surprising things. I didn't think she'd take it this far. I was thinking about Mike, and the word marriage was a sensitive topic for me. Remember the business seminar? I clicked with a the guy there who's planning to start his own company. He's a good guy, so I thought, why not marry him? Marriage isn't something to take lightly. It's a big commitment, a lifetime decision. In a moment, I almost expressed my bitterness toward our parents. My sister looked at me directly. Don't you want to respond to Mike's feelings? But I promised to look after you until you graduated. You think I can't manage without you? I'm a college student. I've got my life planned, and I've met a good guy. You need to think about your own happiness, sis. Tears welled up in her eyes. She was no longer a child. Unless you get married first, it's awkward for me. I guess so. Marrying Mike turned out easier than I thought. Everyone at the company celebrated. Even my first boss came to offer his congratulations. But I still had one more task. Meeting my sister's fiancé's family. Her fiancé, Brian, seemed like a good young man. Apparently, he was the eldest son of a small business owner. The business goes to my brother, though. Really? I always wanted to start my own business, and he liked our family business. We decided to start our own company together. That's how we met. Pretty cool, right? We've already incorporated. Even as students? These days, student entrepreneurship isn't uncommon. I'd always been an employee, so I couldn't fully grasp their discussions. But his family seemed like good people, and he seemed compatible with Summer. I didn't worry about their future. Actually, Mike introduced us. Really? It seems he introduced Summer to Brian, serving as a key connection. We owe a lot to Mike. Our first meeting ended on a warm note, but I still needed to meet the rest of Brian's family. It's natural, as we're becoming relatives. But the business owner's family made me nervous. Strangely, they asked me to come alone. Lisa. Yes, I'm Lisa. I came today to discuss my sister's marriage to Brian. That's not why you're here. We called you to ask you not to get involved. What do you mean? You never went to college and lost your parents. Summer seems capable, but you don't. Don't expect any help from us. I have no intention of relying on you. I've worked hard all my life and plan to support Mike. I may retire later, but that's not for you to decide. Words are cheap. There are many unreliable business people out there. We'll invite you to the wedding, but afterward, stay away. Everyone there will be far above your status, so don't bother coming. It'd be embarrassing for you to show up. They laughed with a hateful laugh, one filled with contempt. When my sister gets married, she'll make a proper family with Brian. Let's hope so. I excused myself, unable to bear the insults any longer. Don't come to the wedding in work clothes. I left, half running home, tears streaming. I washed my face repeatedly, but the tears wouldn't stop. I saw my red eyes in the mirror. I don't want to see them ever again. I understood why Brian wanted to leave that family. I haven't had an easy life, but I've had help from many good people. It felt like they insulted everyone who had helped me. But I'll attend my sister's wedding, her one and only special day. Watching her get married felt like letting go for the first time. She might laugh if I told her that. But it's my last duty as her sister. Time flew by, and soon it was her college graduation and wedding day. You'd better come to my wedding, sis. I planned an amazing day. Did you? I can't wait to see it. My sister and her fiancé kept the wedding details secret, wanting it to be a surprise. I had a bad feeling about seeing his family again. I was sure our seats would be far apart, and Mike would be there too. It'll be fine, I reassured myself. The venue was extravagant. I was in formal wear, but the guests were all high status. Feeling overwhelmed, I showed my invitation, and the usher guided me to a room. As soon as the door opened, I nearly gasped. So, you actually came. You really don't understand social cues. Wow, she actually showed up? There was my father-in-law, my mother-in-law, and probably Brian's young brother, Dustin. 
They were all dressed in high-quality suits and dresses, flaunting their status. Why are you here? Do you not understand? High school graduates aren't too bright. Having someone like you lowers the venue's prestige. Prestige comes from upbringing. My father-in-law Dustin grinned maliciously. Even though we invited you, we expected you to know better than to actually come. Don't you realize how far below you are? Father, mother, stop it. There's no point talking to her. Have the guards remove her. Exactly. They hurled insults at me. Why do they hate me so much? My parents worked hard. Why is that so bad? What if Summer turns out like you? Throw her out, I suppose. Throw her out, I suppose. My brother is a fool. There are plenty of better women. I can endure insults aimed at me, but not at my sister. Summer is diligent. Besides, they're starting a new business together. What nonsense are you spouting? They'll take over our company. What? That's not what they said. You're just trying to cause trouble with your lies. Poverty makes people desperate. You being here ruins the venue's atmosphere. Leave already. I can't just leave. It's not that simple. Mike and I are meeting after the ceremony. That's still two hours away. Mike will be here today, too. Really? Of course. We invited him to Brian's wedding. They seem oblivious to my relationship with Mike. Got it. But I'll wait here until my ride arrives. The wait felt excruciatingly long. Standing in the corner, I endured their insults. But it no longer mattered. Sorry I'm late. The three welcomed Mike warmly. Mike, it's been too long. Mike, we should golf together soon. Mike. It's always a pleasure. Thank you. By the way, have you seen my wife? Wife? We didn't know you were married. Is that so? Where could she be? Oh, there she is. Why are you in a corner like that? They told me to leave because I was ruining the wedding. Their faces turned pale as they realized their mistake. Poverty? Yes, they said I was a poor woman. What's going on here? Why would you tell my wife to leave? She's also the bride's sister. We didn't know. Explain what happened, Lisa. I told him everything truthfully. So you insulted my wife, calling her poor and saying awful things? We didn't mean to insult her. Insulting her is the same as insulting me. That wasn't our intention. What was your intention then? They cowered, sweating profusely. I do business with your company but we are not family. Brian is my friend, but that doesn't mean I need to share everything with you. Insulting my wife is like insulting me. That's not what we meant. Then what did you mean? They remained silent, looking like scared rabbits. The company is important, but if this is your attitude, it shows poor management skills. I can't continue doing business with a company led by people who think this way, so I'll be ending our business relationship. Wait! That will ruin us. Please reconsider. It's bad for both of us if we stop doing business. Don't worry. I'll have Brian's new company handle it. Brian will take over our company. He won't. He said he doesn't want to take over your company. He'll understand in the end. He must. He and Lisa have already started their own business, and it's doing well. No way. A company. Brother, when did this happen? They had no idea. They were stunned, probably relying on Brian to carry the family business forward. The younger brother likely thought he could have an easy ride with Brian handling everything. Such naive thinking would never work out. I believe they planned to announce it at the wedding, knowing you'd object, probably hoping they could get away with it. But it didn't seem like his words reached them. They were in shock, eyes unfocused. I don't think they're in any state to attend the ceremony. Let's get the staff to take them to a medical room. Yes, they need to cool down. It's self-inflicted. Mike led me out of the room, closing the door behind us. The three were left behind, likely unable to move for a while. The wedding went on smoothly, and they moved to their new home. Brian had already been living away from his family home. With the new beginning, they decided to move. Our apartment, where we had lived for years, would now wait for new occupants. Eventually, their company ceased dealing with us, struggling financially. It was a consequence of their actions. 
Summer and her husband contacted us often. They talked about business meetings with Mike and presentations they attended together. In business, they had more chances to meet Mike than I did, which made me a bit jealous. But they always returned to home where I waited. There was some happy news, too. I gently patted my belly. I was pregnant with Mike's child. I wondered how he would react. The doorbell rang, so I turned off the stove and went to the door. I'm home. Is it stew tonight? Welcome back. Yes, I made your favorite stew. Oh, and I have some news to share. As I stroked my belly and spoke, Mike looked at me with shining eyes. That's great, he said joyfully, hugging me gently. A new family member was on the way, and although our responsibilities would grow, we could handle it. We'd build a happy home together.